So I'm wondering if you have any thoughts on Dublin Bus's decision to suspend several routes in the city due to antisocial behaviour in recent uh, weeks and months. Yes, well, I'm yeah, disappointed in, in the decision and it's a shame that, uh, and I know, well, I'm from Tala myself, I was born and reared in Tala, that they've, they've isolated uh, West Tala um, for, um, for the bus services after six o'clock. And it's a shame that just a couple of, uh, a small, very, very small percentage of the population has disrupted the service for, for everybody up there. Like most people living in Tala, over 99.9% of people are, are good living people. And it's just a very few that has, has made so very disappointed and hopefully with the help of the Gardaí and the help of um, um, other services that they were able to get that back back on stream again. I know there's mention about putting security on buses. It's a shame that Ireland has got to that, that we'd have to put security on buses. Like we should be a, a nice living country to live in and we shouldn't have to put um, secure, extra security on buses. It's going to put up costs and it makes people... Um, uh, well, it just shouldn't be, be for, for the sake of a couple of people, ruin it for everybody else. Do you think part of this problem, and I know this isn't necessarily your area as a councillor, but just in general, the way Ireland handles uh, crimes like this, do you think part of it is the fact that people don't really fear consequences if they do engage in antisocial behaviour because we've seen a lot of kind of lenient sentencing when it comes to the courts? Do you think that, that plays a role here? Yes, it certainly would, because we know deterrent for, um, especially with a revolving door, we had that for in, in the prison service for a long time. Yeah, and those small, petty crimes, which disrupt life in general, yeah, they're not being punished severely enough, or people are not, um, whether there's financial um, benefits to be taken from it, like the, whether they be fined and, and maybe the fines properly imposed for antisocial behaviour, or just to be, yeah, no, I, I would think that we're too lenient on these petty crimes and it does affect the greater good in society. Yeah, look, it's unfortunate that a minority are impacting the impacting on a, a majority of a community out in West Halla at the moment. Um, Dublin Bus have made the decision to uh, cancel some services, suspend some services after 6pm going into West Halla. Um, and what's, what's happening is it's actually impacting on thousands of people looking to get to their jobs every day, people looking to get to school, uh, children looking to get to school, and it's you know it's it's extremely unfortunate. Um, what we're finding is that it's um, as I said, it is a minority. Um, it is a minority impacting on the wider community. Um, it's there's a rise in antisocial behaviour. There's a rise in violent levels, and you know I don't blame Dublin Bus for withdrawing their services. Uh, they need to protect their staff. They need to protect the wider community, um, and we ha we need intervention. So at council level, we are looking at our Dublin Bus forum and in, and engaging with Dublin Bus, also at joint policing committee level. Um, and I've written to um, the the local um, the local guard the, sorry the local guard station as well um, to try and get that engagement as well. So I know it will be a topic at our joint policing committee next week, um, and it is something that we really are keeping high on the agenda as well.